Happy Thursday, it's Adventure Day. We're taking a ride. We're going to pick up my cousin Barbara Jean. And we're going to cross, I don't know, because cold water about halfway across the state of Michigan. Um, we're going to go to a few discount stores today. But we're going to the cemetery to where dad's oldest brother is buried. And we're going to, he's taking a little scrub brush to see if it needs to be cleaned off or anything. So we're going to go say hey to Uncle Chuck at the cemetery. And then we're going to go come back a little northern route to a few other stores. I ordered dad a rhubarb pie at this one place. He hasn't had one in a long time. It's easy to find rhubarb custard and rhubarb strawberry, but it's so hard to find a plain rhubarb. So I called him yesterday. I'm like, out of curiosity, do you make plain rhubarb pies? I know I bought one there years ago, but I don't know if it's something you do, um, you know, normally. She's like, yeah. I'm like, can I, we're coming that way tomorrow. Can I have one set aside? She's like, of course. And she took my name and number. So I told Dad, I'm like, I ordered you a rhubarb pie, mister. Uh, it's about 35 out this morning. Snow is all gone, all melted. Supposed to go up to 50 today. Supposed to get up to almost 60 on Saturday. This part of the country, we have weird weather. It's still a shame that that really crappy weather came on Halloween night during um, trick or treat for the kids. I know. Avery stayed home, but Hank went out with Joanne, and he lasted a couple blocks, and he was done. He was done. He's like, I'm done. <laughs> Don't blame him. It was very cold and windy and snowy. But all right. Where is it? That one's still in my Nope. Is it up here? Yeah. Okay. I got some stuff to mail. But all right. I'm just waiting for Dad to get the cooler and a scrub brush and so a gallon of water to take to the cemetery to rinse things down and scrubby scrub. So who knows how long that's going to take. Because, you know, he moves like a snail. Okay, bye. We're in our first discount grocery store. Just looking. I don't have anything yet. And you're, you guys are dirty. Hang on. Let me see ya. Oh, that's better. Oh. Cake. Do they have any yellow cake mix? I need cake mixes for my desserts I'm making. I gotta check them out. But yeah, this is, we're in Brownson, Michigan. Would be. We're here at the cemetery. This is he was the oldest of all of them. It was pretty clean, really. Yeah, might just need a little wipe down. That's about it. Um, it's a pretty day out though. The river runs right back here. I want to get him some. He was a big morel mushroom hunter. I want to get him some little ones I could stick in the ground by his um, stone. But all right, we're gonna visit here and uh, we'll be down the road. Okay, I did a horrible filming today. I don't even hardly think I filmed anything. I know I didn't film hardly anything. Oh, we're just getting back in town. We're stopping the store to get a loaf of bread. Um, I got an itch in my eye. It was a nice day though. We got up to 50. What is it now? 53. I will take it. And uh, someone's beeping. Oh, someone's alarm's going off. When I get home, I gotta make a list of the stuff I still need to buy at the store. Cause we just went to, to some discount stores. So they don't have like a full array of stuff. Um, gotta get some yellow cake mixes, and I don't know. I gotta, I gotta make my list and see what I need. I did get some of my canned fruit that I needed. I got some for cocktail, some mandarin oranges, some pineapple tidbits. I got some tomato. Not juice, tomato mm. sauce. That's what I got. A couple cans of tomato sauce. Uh, I'm gonna make soup in like a week or so. But all right, I'm gonna shut up now because we're gonna be home soon. Here's some of our stuff. This is a dad thing: hot and chunky horseradish sauce. I got pecan pieces, black walnuts for fudge for Christmas because you know what time's coming. Sweet and flake coconut, some Tootsie Rolls. Dad got himself two beef summer sausages and some celery salt. I got some mandarin oranges, two things of tomato sauce, two fruit cocktail, and two pineapple tidbits. So I gotta get all this put away. He's coming back with the last of the stuff. I did not get a chance to put stuff away before he got back. He bought himself a couple. There's a cherry fritter. And a maple, I think that's the cherry one. And on top of the maple fritter, they were out of apple fritters, which is his favorite. Uh, a rhubarb pie, which I had ordered yesterday to have him hold it for us. Um, I picked out some macaroni salad, some grape salad, 
some ham salad, but this looks interesting. It's like a ham egg salad. Curious. Um, and some Lebanon bologna, of course. And some sugar cookies. Now, I think it's everything. Oh, Dad did get a couple boxes of stovetop at one of the discount store. And a couple cans of poppycock, which I'd never heard of. It's kind of like a caramel covered. What does it say it is? My cousin Barb got one. And then when we were coming back by, Dad's like, I want to stop and get one. Then he bought two. It's popcorn with almonds and pecans. It's like a glazed popcorn. All right, now I gotta put everything. Oh, and then Dad bought this for Barb, Happy Salt. But it was all mixed with ours, so we just said we'd give it to her when we saw her. She's gonna come over and have um, soup with us when I make soup next week. So, now, gotta put it all away. I am not awake. It's Friday morning. We're gonna go to Meyer and get the last of the things I need to bake for tomorrow, because I'm gonna bake cakes tonight and make my fruit salad tonight. So, yeah, it's just hit nine o'clock. I just wanted to get it, go get it done, get, get back, here comes dad. Although it is about 40 this morning already, that's nice. Uh, but okay, to Meyer we go. I'm in the store. I'm gonna go to the freezer section first and get cool because it's gotta thaw out. I'm about to come look at these. See what kind of pans they have. Um, this way. Probably Halloween clearance. I need nothing, but I'm over here. Candies. This is flip around. But then they're setting up the Christmas ones down this way too. I gotta find Dad. I'm ready to go. I got everything I needed, and I'm ready to go home. Starting to make my cottage cheese dessert. I have this recipe on my playlist of cooking. It's just Cool Whip cottage cheese mixed with some jello and then add whatever fruit you want. Mix up and then I'm going to put in a couple handful of pecan pieces that I bought yesterday. That's it. This is a wonderful summertime dessert, although I didn't really have much of summer. But I'm getting ready to throw this together and put it in the refrigerator overnight to chill. Here's the stuff I was looking for. I kept saying cream to cocoa. It's cream to cocoa nut. Cream of cocoa nut. It used to come in a can years ago, and you'd have to like do a big hole and roll hole and then pour it on top. I won't use all this, this is a lot, but um, I will drizzle that over along with a can of sweetened condensed milk. So when the cake comes out, it's just yellow cake mix. I did a double, I did two boxes to make one big thick cake for that one. Hopefully I didn't screw that up. I'm just, I'm winging it, people. Then when it comes out, I'll take this, the little wooden end and poke holes in it while it's still warm and then pour that on it let it chill a little bit in the kitchen and then I'll put it in the refrigerator chill overnight and then I'll finish it off in the morning okay here's what I wished I had done man my hair's everywhere uh I wish I had used my big metal bowl like I did early and mixed up all three uh cake mixes at once and just poured half in each pan because I think it's gonna be too much cake in, in the one pan we're just going to see how it goes and see what happens. <laughs> um, yeah, I wish I would have done it the other way. But, too late now. Got to roll with whatever happens. So I'm just kind of sitting here. It smells good in here. It smells like cake. There's about 10 more minutes left on the thinner one. And then, I just got to check the thicker one. Because it's a thickle. It's a thickle. So I'm, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. I don't know if I'm going to use a thinner one for my pina colada cake or my thicker one. Because I don't know if... Of course that top does go way up. I don't know. It's just... I'm winging it, people. I am winging it so hard right now. We'll see how what happens. Okay, the single one is done, I do believe. Let's check it. Yeah, clean. We're going to do the single one as the pina colada cake. I think that, that one is just going to be able to have chocolate frosting on it, and that's it. So I'm just going to go through and poke holes. So I'm going to do that right now. Now I have a holy cake, and I'm going to take my sweet condensed milk, kind of like the one they do a Tres Leches cake, just pour it all in the holes and around. But I need uh, to actually look with my eyes and not my phone, or else I'm going to screw some up. I'm going to pour it somewhere it shouldn't be poured. All right. 
Who was I kidding? I was not going to be pouring no sweetened condensed milk out of a can. I had to open it up and use a spoon. <laughs> but this stuff comes out. It's real nice and liquidy. And I did that first. Once I saw how thick the other stuff was, I just squirted this all over. Made sure I got it in all the holes. And um, then I frosted it with the sweetened condensed milk. And then this will go in the fridge for tonight to become a nice family. I know it's kind of dark in here. I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I brought this, well, my dinner tonight is a salad, an Asian salad with mandarin oranges and chicken, but I opened this up. I haven't smelled it. This is that soda from, soda drink thing from my Greek box, my box from Greece. It's a sour cherry drink, but it's carbonated because it, pssst, when I opened it, so let's smell. It does smell like sour cherry. I have a backup water here just in case. <laughs> That's really good. It's not too sour, but it really does taste like sour cherry. And the carbonation isn't strong. That's refreshing. So interesting. I like that because the carbonation isn't as strong as a lot of our, our sodas. Sometimes our sodas, are, the carbonation is so strong, it like brings a tear to my eye. Especially if I haven't drank a soda in like days and I'll crack one open. And I'll be like, oh, that's a lot of carbonation. But okay, cakes are out. Oh, you can't see where it is in there. One's in the fridge to chill overnight. One's on the counter, the big, the big one. I'm gonna frost him later when he's cool. It's six o'clock right now on the dot. Dad's off to play cards. They just started at 6 o'clock. I'm going to have my salad and my sour soda. I have one millionaire dessert left from the uh, the farmer's market. So I'm going to have that before it goes bad. I'm going to see what I have recorded. I've not watched anything on the DVR. But Dad yesterday said, you know the one thing I do like about that DVR? I'm like what? He goes, fast forwarding and... And going, it's much more accurate than the old one because the old one did have issues. It was getting old. I mean, it was an old machine. We've had it, I don't even know how long. Many, many years. And, um, but he's getting used to it. He's watched programs that came out the other day. He goes, I learned how to delete stuff I watch. So, uh, the thing he does not like that I have not found yet is the back, like a, like when you're on a channel and you want to go to the last channel you were on. Um, there's no last button on this one. So, that I have found yet. And another thing I like, it when you move it, it lights up so you can see the darn thing. The other one had no light. It, you just had to, I would usually turn my phone on enough so I could see the remote to see what I was pressing. And Dad had a little flashlight next to his um, table if, he did, if he's been out here in the dark. But all right, I'm going to quit gabbing and eat dinner and watch the DVO. Ow, I just got done frosting. The cake with chocolate frosting. But the only thing I have left to do in the morning is put cool up on my pina colada cake, toast my pecans and coconut, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Done! <laughs> yeah, Ronnie's wife, Michelle, texted me going, What desserts are you making? Um, so listen, I'm like, Vanilla cake with chocolate frosting, pina colada cake, and a fruit. Cool up cottage cheese dessert. <laughs> She's like, sounds delicious. <laughs> uh, what time is it? Almost 8 o'clock. I got to watch a few of my things on the DVR. The thing I like about this is when you fast forward through a commercial, when you got it rolling, it'll automatically stop and start playing when the commercial's over so you don't have to worry about missing the end of the thing. It just does it automatically. I like that. I watched Big Brother. I only watched two things. What was the other one? Big Brother. And. What was the other thing I watched? I just got done watching it. Do you think I can remember? No, I can't. Not in the least bit. I didn't watch my Dateline. That's still on there. Big Brother and 
why can my brain not get this information that just happened? I don't know. My brain is shutting down. Got me a bottle of water. My snack tonight, I have two pieces of beef jerky in my pocket. Because I did not feel like anything sweet. I wanted... I just, I want beef jerky. I want protein. So that's what I'm going to have for my evening snack. So, I'm going to put these clips from yesterday and today together. And I'll probably turn them on tomorrow when we're out at the shop before I go to the shop. Because I don't know how what the internet's like out there. Ronnie said it's better. They used to not be very good. But he says it's better now. They switched to something or other out there. But okay. Happy Friday. Any weekend plans happening? What's happening out there? Okay, bye.